right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here today. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arms. And as you get desperate, Start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you all live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 131 pounds. Fighting out of Kinshasa, Congo, Boom Boom. And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Kick is good by Lee. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get tall. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Got clipped with the right hand. 
All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away with the jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Blocks the shot. Well, missed on that one. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Lands with a right hand. Well, you like the thought process to go to the counter. Ultimately, the execution not there. That's a miss. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Just over two minutes to go. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Lee's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. Nice punch there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Lee gets tattooed by that straight punch. Oh, that right hand is on point. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. What a punch. Just misses there with the left. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 15 seconds to go. Big kick land. Now tripling up on the jet. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking his damage and strikes up top. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Shot land. The combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus and is looking. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down. He doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Nice loose punch. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. He blocks the punch. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. And oh. they strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh! Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Big kick. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Out of range with that one. Nice body kick right under the elbow. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Watch knees to the body. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Beautiful body kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Some nice back and forth action here. Just missed with the left there. Oh, countered nicely there with a beautifully timed uppercut. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Lee. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. Whoa! Oh, big diving punch lands up top. News hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, that's a good right hand. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Back to his feet. Big punch lands through the middle. Good kicks there by Lee. Just misses with the straight right. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Ooh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Good punch. You got to check these low leg kicks. Ten seconds to go. Beautiful head kick. Oh, collar tie. Round three next. Stop. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going.
you to set those kick. You ready to fight? Ready. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Punch over the top. Plans a big elbow there. So Back to the feet. Just missed with the straight left hand. Sauce reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Great punch landing with so much power. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Wow, nice slip and an even better rip. Beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Great upper body movement defensively slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong today. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish line because he's got to be her very bad. Blocks the shot. Oh, strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Real sneaky body. Get him chop at the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. His right eye's closing up. really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact same. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Whoa! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these played a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.